Hi children, welcome to today's science lesson. Today we are moving on to another strand and a new substrand. So today we are looking at cycles and under cycles we are looking at earth science. So today we look at earth science. So by the end of today's lesson, you should be able to describe cyclic events like day and night and describe their intervals or periods. So today we are describing a cyclic event like the day and night and then we'll look at their intervals or their periods. Good. So we move on to our keywords. Our keywords for today. The first keyword is cyclic. Cyclic. So it is when something occurs in cycles that is regularly repeated so when something goes on and on repeatedly we can say that it is what cycling our second keyword is axis axis it is an imaginary line about which a body rotates so the earth rotates on its axis. So as we have the earth, the earth goes round on its axis. Good. And then we have spin. Spin. Spin is to turn or cause to turn quickly. So when you spin something, you have a ball and you spin it, it turns quickly. So that is spin. And then the fourth one we have orbit. Orbit. So orbit is a curved path in space. A curved path in space that is followed by an object going round and round. So all the planets in space, when they are going round, they go round in an orbit form. They turn, they move round in space so that is orbit good so today what we are doing is that we are looking at day and night as a cyclic event okay so day and night occurs repeatedly in a cycle so cycle is something that goes on and on over some time so they repeat themselves every 24 hours the sun shines in the daytime and then we experience darkness or dark hours in the night. Human beings and animals rest in the night, whilst in the day we move around to do so many activities. So as we can see on our screen, the sun rises in the east in the morning. So the sun rises in the east in the morning and then sets in the west in the evening is that okay so the sun rises in the east and then sets in the west so the people in at the east or in the east they experience day before those in the west experience what day so as they are experiencing day those in the west are experiencing night so as the earth moves, those in the west will now experience day and then those in the east will experience darkness. That is what the night. So a planet spins on its axis, as we said. So we have the earth. So this is a representation of the earth. So this is the axis this point so the sun moves around on this axis so we have axis one and then we have axis for the two so the earth spins around it axis in 24 hours so we can see the sun shining very brightly in the picture, which shows day. 
and then the moon showing that the picture is what in the night so that is about the day and then the night good so the sun lights up one half of the earth and the other half is in shadow so as the earth is moving this side which takes the sun shines brightly and then this side is in what darkness or shadow so we have night here and then the whole of this place we have day so those here facing the sun remember the sun is static mean it means that it does not move so the sun does not move the sun is static it is the earth that moves around the sun so as the earth is spinning on its axis and moving around the sun those that faces the sun experiences day and those that are away from the sun they take what the night so as it spins it goes wrong and those that were having night now comes back to face the sun to also experience day and those that were facing the sun goes wrong and then experience night so as the earth moves we move with the what the shadow of the night and then the day so it's in two sections so we have the day and then we have the night so as you can see on our screen we can see the light rays coming from the sun the light rays coming from the sun to brighten up part or half of the earth so all those there are experiencing what day and then the other side is very dark so that is what the night so we have the day and then the night good now let us look at some activities that goes on during the day and then the night as well so in the day what do we do in the day our parents go to work during the day there are so many works that goes on during the day some go to the office some go on their farms anywhere at all that they work that is what people normally do during the day and then children go to school during the day so school is for the day is okay you can't come to school at night because of the brightness of the sun we are able to see around and then move around freely now we wash and dry our clothes during the day so during the day is the best time to wash our clothes because the sun helps our clothes to do what to dry and then we do more sports and then gaming activities during the day so when we are having our games or our sports it is best that we do it during the day now let us look at what we do during the night so we do our homework in the night we come to school during the day and then when we go back at home we continue with our homework in the night and then we rest and sleep at night so during the hours of 9 to early morning dawn at 4 or 5 people mostly want to sleep because it is time to sleep but do you know that some people go to work at night as well yes so there are day shifts and then night shift so workers like the policemen or the women the nurses the doctors 
they go to work at night because they also need to work during the night to protect us. Yes, some security men also work at night. So these are some of the activities that goes on at day and then at night. Good. So now let us look at the years and the month. So how do we have our years and then our month? So it is also based on the day and night because we need to experience day and night before we can have our month and then move on to our years. Okay, so the earth is constantly moving. It moves all the time. It moves around the sun all the time, every second. As it is moving around the sun, it is also spinning on its axis. So it doesn't move in a straight manner. It turns as it moves. As it is turning on its axis, it is known as rotation. So rotation of the earth. So this is where the, the, the earth itself spins on its axis. So as it, as it is spinning on its axis and moving around the sun, it is known as the revolution of the earth. Good. So this is for the earth turning on its own axis. So the sun, uh, the, the earth moves on its own axis. And as it is moving on its axis, it also goes around the sun, and that is what is called the revolution. So the revolution takes form in 365 days, and that is what a year. So when the earth makes a complete revolution around the sun, then we can say that we have 365 days, or we have one year. Good. So as we can see an illustration on our screen, we can see rotation and then revolution. We can see the sun that is what? Static. And then we can see the orbit. The orbit is the round imaginary line we can see. And then we can see the earth. The earth is rotating, it's moving on its axis, that is the rotation. It is moving on its axis. But as it is moving on its axis and turning around the sun, that is what is called the revolution. So the sun is at the other side and then the moon is also at the other side. So the part of the earth that is facing the sun experiences day and those that are close to the moon are the ones that are experiencing night good so that is about the day and the night i hope that was clear good so that is what we have learned about the day and the night I'll see you on Zoom. Try to draw the illustration of the earth and then the sun and the revolution and rotation of the earth. When we come on Zoom, we'll have more discussion on this lesson. I'll see you very soon. Take care and bye-bye.